Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University. Uh, we're preparing to head on up to Montana here shortly, so don't have a whole lot of extra time between work and that. But I did have time for one little video here. Um, well, I've been doing my thing with Ryan's ore and panning the, the concentrates and this and that. I've noticed that the uh, fine gold and the micro fine gold behave differently. Now, I'm going to define the two based on the difference in behavior by um, microscopically measuring the particle size. It's at around 100 mesh that this uh, change in physics happens. Now, the particles that I'm dealing with went through an impact mill, so they're kind of round, too. Now these, so these are round balls. Uh, but there was one chunk that was pretty long and skinny, and it, it was worse than the balls. But here's what happens. Um, the microfine gold will tend to stick to the bottom of the pan and the fine gold will tend to move easily across the pan. And this can cause some problems, like when you're doing that, the tapping technique for me with the microfine gold, you might actually miss the coarser gold. It, it can just go right to the bottom of the pan and disappear on you, hide it underneath the, the light material. So, anything over 100 mesh, you're not going to necessarily see using the uh, microfine panning technique that I use. Um, so be aware of that. You can do a standard reveal, then reconcentrate and do a tap to make sure you don't miss anything. One piece of 100 mesh material has a lot more mass than quite a few pieces of 500 mesh material. So you do want to double check, especially with a new ore, where you've got something that's uh, likely to have some good grades and stuff. You might want to check looking for the coarser gold. Ryan's ore does have coarser gold. It goes up to, you know, 40, 50 mesh, sometimes even bigger at times. So let me show you this now. Again, I don't have everything set up. I'm getting ready to head on up to Montana. So I'm just going to take you in the kitchen and show you what it looks like in the pan. Now to keep the reflected light from overpowering the sensor, I've put this purple cloth over the uh, um, stove. I'm getting old. So here's a pan of gold. Now this is from Ryan's and you can see it's very fine up there and coarser down there and let me show you how I got that now there's a couple techniques that I use at different times depending upon the situation now when I'm hand panning or whatever any coarse material on this side will tend to stay there whereas coarse material on this side will rapidly work its way to the bottom so in order to get that what I do is I shake and rotate and what that does is the coarser material winds up here let's see if we can see that or not I can't tell through the viewfinder, but hopefully you can see on the right side it's coarser. Trust me, that's the way it is. Now, I'm going to take, put enough water in there so I could do my tapping technique. And because there's so much gold, this is a completely closed system. I'm just doing it between these two pans. I don't want it to anything to get away from me. Now 
And there we have a really good demonstration of what happens with the particle sizes now you'll notice that didn't take me long at all but right down here those are the coarser particles see how they just zipped right to the bottom of the gold pan here is smaller and here are the smallest particles this goes down to one or two thousandths of an inch but uh, if it was thinner you know the layer was thinner they basically all be up here but it's there's so much gold that it's tending to slough down a little bit too the difference in size between what will stick to the bottom up there and what will run down here is right at around 100 mesh with this particular gold the 100 mesh gold runs down the surface 100 mesh and coarser and the 100 mesh minus tends to stick to the surface you can see how it's sticking right there and now I'm gonna just wash this sorry about the lighting folks see how that just stays there and doesn't want to go anywhere and yet other materials making it all the way down here that's going to be coarser that's finer and that's an interesting phenomena I'm not sure how to make it, use of it but you do need to be aware because otherwise like in my hand panning you can be losing coarse gold down here and never even see it because it's not pure like that I mean this is like 95 percent gold <laughs> if you're just running a, a, a small sample you can have a lot of other heavies there. Any big pieces of gold will be buried in the heavies down at the bottom. So anyhow, there's a couple of interesting observations and things that happen in the pan that may or may not be useful to you, but you should nevertheless be aware of them. So, happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.